Here in downtown San Antonio, a new one acre farm is finding a new way to grow fresh produce. But the catch is it's not a normal farm. It's a hydroponic one. It has no soil. Instead, fresh kale grows out of the walls, secured by a black polyester that holds it in place, all doused in a hue of magenta. I feel like I'm standing in like a vegetarian rave here. Yeah. <laughs> but that too has a purpose. Uh, so we grow a lot of different crops in this area with a specific spectrum of light. Turns out the plants use reds and blues more than pretty much anything else. A solution of water and nutrients runs over the roots through the wall panels, which can be easily removed to harvest ripe produce and plant new seedlings. The container isn't very big, but it doesn't need to be. In this small area, as a result of our intensive strategy, we can produce an acre's worth of crops in a 40-foot shipping container. While you can't grow all types of produce this way, corn for instance, there is a benefit to the ones you can. Hagney's farm is much closer to market and uses significantly less water thanks to a water recycling system. Hagney hopes to expand his idea in other areas of the city this year, planting new farms, one warehouse at a time. Andrew Moore, Kins 5 Eyewitness News. From flying through the air to running up walls, these guys take workouts to a whole new level. Welcome to the Ninja Training Facility at Power Park, where these athletes take on obstacles that might seem, well... We're going to climb the whole ladder with, with the bar? Heck yes we are. Impossible? You need to have a lot of grip strength. You need to have a lot of endurance, explosiveness, agility, balance. Power Park is a haven for people training for such extreme obstacle competitions as Tough Mudder or Ninja Warrior. And while these guys make it look easy, getting in this shape, well, it takes some work. So what do you have to do to your body to be able to uh, do these obstacles? Well, in uh, ninja training, pull-ups are pretty much king here. Everything when your body's off the ground and doing a pulling motion is basically how you train. Of course, there is some technique as well, and the power part gives you the chance to hone your skills on a good range of obstacles while still providing some room for error. Because even the best ninjas sometimes hit the mat. Andrew Moore, Kins 5 Eyewitness News. Two NBA players visited Wagner High School this evening, but it wasn't for a special program or a camp. They will hang up there years from now with pride and Wagner Thunderbird pride. It's because they are from here. Jordan Clarkson and Andre Lee Robertson were teammates in this gym only five years ago and now saw their jerseys retired in front of friends, coaches, and Wagner's basketball team. They now play for the Lakers and Thunder in the NBA. Well, my dream was always to play in the NBA, man. Uh, Ever since day one, growing up as a little kid, watching my dad play basketball. <laughs> and uh, and I'm just, it's such a blessing, like I said before, to make it uh, and have the story unfold as it did. But with great accomplishment comes great responsibility. Like many others, Clarkson's father now expects his son to be even more than a great athlete. Well, I've stressed to him now the importance of him being a role model is, is paramount. Individuals now look at him as they would look at Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, any other NBA athletes. It's a challenge he's planning to live up to. I just always got to watch myself and make sure I'm uh, putting the best me on for everybody. And uh, when you see those jerseys hanging up, man, for anybody that comes in your school and you now, they just know that they, they got a, a chance, an opportunity to do that. Andrew Moore, Kins 5 Eyewitness News. It's very dirty and they have to replace the straw on the roofs often because... Building a school in Africa. It's not an easy feat, but these middle schoolers are determined to make it happen. When their church pastor challenged them to make a difference in the world, they set a goal of raising $100,000 to build a brick and mortar school in Oli, Uganda. It's going to have a cement floor and an actual roof that's not just made out of straw. Their organization is called Elevate Uganda, and the kids believe planting a school will do just that. You don't have that many doctors or teachers or anything, you don't have education, and education is really important because, you know, um, that's how doctors and lawyers and community comes to be. The kids are raising money through everything from huge speaking events to lemonade stands. They have sent most of it to Uganda already through an organization called Villages of Hope Africa, where it's being put to good use. So they've already built 20,000 20, bricks for the school. Elevate Uganda will partner with Community Bible Church to go to Uganda this fall. Now, they've managed to raise $15,000, which is a huge deal because every one of these that they raise will go straight to Africa. Andrew Moore, Kins 5 Eyewitness News.